Hey. Welcome to Gorehart. Interesting. You're not at all what I expected to find here. Oh, is that the name of this fate weaver? No, the Tuatha I was following killed him. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Oh, no reason. At least not one you have to worry about. If I'd interfered, the Tuatha would know I was tracking them. This fate weaver wasn't worth losing valuable information. But the Tuatha are still on the move. I must go. I'm certain we will see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. What happened? Aaron's dead. How did this happen? No, it wasn't. That's the whole point. I knew his fate. He wasn't supposed to die for years. This isn't possible. Not that he'll really be missed, mind you. There's a reason he lived all the way out here. I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers, somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there, once I give Arden a proper funeral. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake.
Lord Ferrara, valiant warrior, destroyer of Enfamineer, Duke of the Hylarans, protector of the Ring of Kiozai, discoverer of the island of Meropis, were he only to meet a better end. It's good you're here. I was beginning to think you were just something I saw in the bottle. Welcome to the ruins of Deloc. Yes. It doesn't look like much, but in these ruins lies the theater of fate. 
the ancient home of the Fate Weavers. Come with me. No telling what we'll find down there. It's the ruins of the Theater of Fate. This is where the first Fate Weavers learned how to read the Weave. They left their wisdom behind in the Destiny Stone. I'm hoping that the stone will tell me who you are. In we go. So brief his term among our court, so virile in his living. He is fervored embodied, he is vitality. He rescued Princess Luna to take as his own. King of Strad, Prince of Passion. Ever since this place was abandoned, strange beasts have moved in. Stay close. This place has been abandoned for so long that some Fate Weavers think it's just a legend.
The theater can show us the whole tapestry of fate laid bare. We can do nothing to change it or prevent its horrors. Well, most of us can't. years of hiding in a bottle. It's good to see some action again. If only one last time. safe here. This way.
We're almost there. Or at least as far as I can take you. I've seen this. This moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. Supposed to. Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? You absorbed everything he was, everything he would do. You changed the weave of destiny itself. Because of you, there are deeds he won't do, children of his that won't be born, victims that won't die when they were supposed to. Yes, I'm aware, but there's still no telling what damage you could do if you aren't careful. You're much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away. Theater of Fate. I never thought I'd see it. We Fate Weavers never fully understood the power of this place. Seems there's a lot we don't understand. Awesome. 
Gods, I should have brought another bottle. <clears throat> No surprise that Niskaru found its way to this place of power. Everything about these ruins is dedicated to this room, and at the center of it all is the Destiny Stone. With it, the Fae taught the Fate Weavers the answers to the deepest mysteries of fate. Put your hands on the stone, and maybe we can find answers to your own mysteries. Just put your hand on the Destiny Stone. It'll show me where you fit into the tapestry of fate. The Destiny Stone came apart at your touch. And all around you, the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. And there, at the core, was the Codex of Destiny. The wisdom that the Fae used to help the first Fate Weavers understand the nature of the Weave. Don't you see what this means? Yes, yes, it is. And from what I can tell, you're the one changing it. With every breath, you're changing how lives begin and end. The way the Codex of Destiny came to you out of the stone. That's got to mean something, too. But I'll be damned if I can read this thing. As dangerous as an open flame, you could help people or destroy them entirely. When you get involved, there's no grand cosmic plan. Only freedom and all the dangers that come with it. And that means I owe you a... Wait. What's that? Purge the abomination! In the name of God's law! know you're not working with the Tawatha. I don't care if you trust me. I'm much more interested in your friend here. You're welcome. I'm beginning to think that these Tawatha don't like you. Now why do you think that might be? After all, someone who can change the fate of the world, who wouldn't want you? I'm not sure, but they're very well informed about your location. They came straight here from Dyden Hill, but they're not nearly as interesting as you. Especially now that they're dead. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? Ha! Knowing the future is for fools. Who reads the end of a book before it's time? Save your attention for the present. Like that codex you found? Our scholars thought those were all gone from the world. But you're just full of surprises. Good luck understanding it. That's fey knowledge. They don't even have a written language. The stone is simply embedded with what they know. Unseeable to mortals. Why worry about the little fish, when deeper waters hold the more interesting secrets? 
There's more to this than you understand. I don't have the answers for you, but I know someone who might. When you're ready, meet me at the House of Ballads. I'm sure the Fae would love to meet you. Be on your way. We can't trust her. Never met a Darklefar who'd give me a straight answer even with a sword at their throat. But she wasn't wrong about that Codex. Just be careful doing anything she suggests. Meanwhile, we can't just ignore the Tawatha that are tracking you. We need to do something about them. She said they came through Dyden Hill, didn't she? They don't belong in these lands, so they probably left a trail wide as an Eden's backside. Meet me there, and we'll track them down. Maybe we can find out why they're after you. Or at least how they can find you so easily. I've got some final rites to perform before I leave this place. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>